Hey guys, Alexander here, back with the last video in the binomial distribution series. So, in this video I will be deriving the moment generating function of the binomial distribution and I'll be making use of two different approaches to reach the result. The first approach is using the fact that we know that the binomial distribution is the, uh, the Bernoulli distribution is a special case of the binomial distribution where n is equal to 1. Well, then if we let y be equal to the summation from i is equal to 1 to n of xi and each xi is an iid Bernoulli random variable with a success probability of p, then y will be equal will be a binomially distributed random variable with n number of trials and the success probability of p. Okay, so we know that this is a result. We know that the binomial distribution is the sum of independent identically distributed Bernoullis. Well, let's use this in the moment generating function there. So the moment generating function of y is equal to the moment generating function of the summation from i is equal to 1 to n of x i t. And we know that there's a result that states that the moment generating function of the sum of random variables is simply equal to the product of the individual random variables if those random variables are independent. So it's going to be m x 1 of t, m x 2 of t, all the way up to m x n of t. And we have derived before in the video uh, covering the Bernoulli distributions, moment generating function, we derived the result for m x 1 of t to be equal to 1 minus p plus p e to the t to the power of 1. Okay? Or just 1 minus p plus p e to the t. So that means that the m y of t is equal to 1 minus p plus p e to the t times 1 minus p plus p e to the t up to 1 minus p plus p e to the t and this is this it's multiplied by itself n times so we know that m y of t is equal to 1 minus p plus p e to the t to the power of n and there's no restriction on the values that t can take t can take any values any value so that's how we derive the moment generating function of the binomial distribution by making use of the fact that the binomial distribution can be written as the sum of independent identically distributed Bernoulli random variables well let's look at if we simply use the definition of the moment generating function and using the probability mass function of the binomial distribution. If we have a discrete random variable, just as a reminder, the, x, the moment generating function of x is equal to the expected value of e to the tx, which is equal to the summation over the entire support of e to the tx times p of x. And for a binomial distribution, we should know that the p of x will be given by the following function. And we know that the support is from x is equal to 0 all the way up to n of e to the tx times n choose x, which we know is also n factorial, over n minus x factorial times x factorial, multiplied by p to the power x times 1 minus p to the power of n minus n minus x okay so let's go simplify this if we note over here we have a, a, the same exponent of to the power of x so let's simply bring this e to the tx into this exponent over here so we have the summation from x is equal to 0 to n of n c x times p e to the t x times 1 minus p to the power n minus x 
And if we just recall, you should have done this in high school. So if you have not, if we have a plus b to the power n, this is e this is equivalent to saying we have the summation from x is zero to n of n choose x of a to the power of x times b to the power of n minus x. And we can see the equivalency between this and this. If we let a be equal to p plus p e to the t, and we let b be equal to 1 minus p, then, well, by the binomial theorem, so by the binomial theorem, we know that m x of t is going to be equal to p e to the t plus 1 minus p to the power of n. And we know that we can also write this, it's also equal to q plus p e to the t to the power of n. So that's how we go about it. Very easy to derive the moment generating function of the binomial distribution by making use of the binomial theorem. And it's equally as easy to use the fact that the binomial distribution can be written as the as the sum of independent Bernoulli distributions, then we can use the, the property of the moment generating function that the moment generating of the function of the sum of these independent random variables will simply be the product of the individual, which we have over here. And we can then simplify this to the moment generating function for the binomial distribution is one minus P plus P e to the T to the power of N. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has been useful to your for your statistic studies. And that will be that for the binomial distribution. Boa Commander out.